really low numbers and scratchy. So we just got this pretty good signal here. I don't know if you can hear that, but the pro pointer is picked up. Oh, I think it's that. It's pretty big. picking up this. What is that? Oh, that looks like a giant nail. Ah, it's a giant nail. Well, that's our first find of the day. I wouldn't say it's upsetting. No, giant nails are good to me. An estimation of foil. The pro pointer picked it up, so it's really shallow. It's right there. Is it right? right it's there. right there. See? That is a bottle cap. It's it's a bubble the, cap. Yeah, it's one of those poles things, the seal. For bubbles. Off a cap. Bubbles. No, it's a bottle. You see a bottle, a drink bottle that has that little thing that you peel off of the top? all that is. Just junk. But well, see, you can tell by the numbers uh, a lot of what you are looking at in the ground. That scratchy signal and 40s especially, it's trying to kill that signal off and let you know that that's junk. So, let's go get us a good signal. Yep. Right here. Right here. Okay. Go. See how it stops here and yeah, it starts here? Shallow one. In it. I think that's it. You you got it. I saw it. Yeah, it was foil. It's a bottle cap. Yeah, these things right here have awesome signals. See, look at that signal you're getting. Yeah, 66. Sometimes, sometimes you can learn what's down there just by looking at that signal there. Now, rescan your hole just to double check. Yep. Now, let's see what we find next time. Yeah, it's in a over in the sun. There you go. Interesting. Oh, sorry. It's they should put rock. Um, That's not rock, it's something else. I don't know what it is. It looks like a meteor. Hmm. It's cool though. We can find out. Okay. I don't know, give it to me. The nice thing about the beach is it's... Oh, uh, if you know what this is, leave me a comment. It's so easy to dig to find out. Leave in the comments below because we honestly have no idea. Okay. Okay, our next signal. Cassie, move. Right Your shadow is in the way. That's an 85, and it's not that deep. See, I've got a double signal there. I think an 85 is a dime signal. This is our. This is our hole. Right there's our last hole. Let's see what it is? Is I don't see anything there. It's out of the hole. Yeah, should be. So we test. Yep. Should be here. Here, watch. It's right there. Go back. Go back. Go back.
There it is, right there. It's part of a, uh, like a buckle of some, or buckle piece, I'm guessing. Go for the hole. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's, uh... Okay, we'll check it out. It's like, um, some sort of a buckle. Now let's see what we find next time. I think I got a couple of things down there. Cassie, move your head. Or not. Stay. It's really hard to see since your shadow is in the way. It's a nickel. <laughs> there you go. There's a quarter. I just stuck a pro pointer in there. Awesome finds. Yeah, I think that's it. I told you there was a couple of things there, though, didn't I? Dime. Here's a dime. That's it. That's it. Oh, wow. I'm just, like, admiring this guy. He's, like, doing flips. He's doing epic flips. I don't want to show you his face. That way, that way. Here, just use your hands. It's right here. Oh, yeah. oh Lincoln. It's a Lincoln. I keep dropping it. Yep, just a Lincoln. It's a penny. Oh, you might have got it. Holy cow. Move your hand, Cassie. How the... I don't get it. Okay, I've got it in my hand. Okay, stop. Just slowly, slowly, stop. What the heck is that? You're kidding me. What is it? What is it? I have no idea. It looks like a piece of copper. It's green. Or brass, maybe. That's interesting. Don't look at all the seals up there. Another signal. This is how far apart our signals are. Here. Here. Here.
Hey, Lincoln. Yep. Okay, this is our finds for the day. We weren't out at the beach very long. We weren't doing any serious metal detecting. We found some coins here. Nothing really special. Nope, nothing at all special in it. Um, we weren't we weren't there that long. We were just playing around, getting outside. Uh, some junk. We found some interesting junk. Part of a rivet, some sort of a construction screw, uh, what looks like part of a chain link fence, pull tab, piece of foil, a nut. Um, this. This one. Won't focus. Uh, I think. It's aluminum. Yeah, I think that is aluminum. It um, sets off the pro pointer and the metal detector, but it's not magnetic. I, I think we have what Alex thinks this real round thing is, not that, oh, this? is uh, like part of part off your jean. It's copper or something like that. So she thinks it's like the rivet off of your jeans. We found. Um, Inside of that rock? Not that. We're oh. not there yet. Mm -hmm. um, part of a little buckle apparatus of some sort, just small strap. It could be a camera strap or something like that even. Um, and this... Inside of that rock? This is... There we, was... I don't know if we took a picture of the rock, but there was something that looked like a rock. Um, and grab that flashlight over there and shine it on this. Without Alex's face being or fingers being in the way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we got some light on it now. Um, you can see the threads on it. It's a, part of a screw. We found when we found that. Oh, you can take that off now, Cass. Thank you. When we found that, it was a big fuzzy lump of rock that was attracted to the magnet, and it was about the size of this gray chunk here, except that gray chunk of aluminum was flat and that was round all the way oblong and, um, it, and I smashed off some of the outering and it was just this laying on some glass the glass isn't sharp of course but there it's glass yeah, yeah it was uh, what happened is uh, just like you find in the old Civil War uh, artillery shells and cannonballs that had been down in the water for so long or down in the sand that uh, it was leaching iron out of it and made that fuzzy hard coating around it and uh, it was good grief it was probably a quarter of an inch thick all the way around there so it had to be down there a long time and it trapped a little piece of glass in there the um, clear piece clear piece right there is uh, the glass yep and um, so when, when Alex was halfway done with that, she was wondering, what in the world has it got glass in it? But no, it just happened to trap the glass. We thought that was a pretty cool find. You know, it, it's nothing important whatsoever. It's a piece of junk. But it's the interesting things like that that you find that just make this such a fantastic thing. That could have been trapped down there for close to 100 years. Who knows? Um, I think probably closer to the 50 or 60 year range as much leaching out of the iron as we had there, though. But that that's our that's our day. And now everybody's just out of their showers and all cleaned up after coming back from the beach. So with sand dunes in our shoes. <laughs> yes. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.